Hey Linux admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's install a full LAMP stack on a running instance of Oracle Linux. To install the Apache web server, log into Oracle Linux and issue the command sudo dnf install httpd-y. When the installation completes, start and enable the web server with the commands sudo system control start httpd, sudo system control enable httpd. You'll also need to allow the web server through the firewall with the commands sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash permanent dash dash add dash service equals brace http comma https brace sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. Next we'll install the MariaDB database server. This is done with the command sudo dnf install MariaDB MariaDB-Server-Y. After the database is installed, start and enable it with the commands sudo system control start MariaDB. sudo system control enable MariaDB. We now need to create a MariaDB admin user password. For that, issue the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. When asked for the current root password, hit enter on your keyboard and then answer the remaining questions. Next, we'll install PHP, along with a few other bits to make it work in conjunction with the web and database servers. This is done with the command sudo dnf install php php-fpm php-mysqlnd php-opcache php-gd php-xml php-mbstring-y. Since we're using the PHP Fast Process Manager, we need to start and enable it with the commands sudo system control start php fpm, sudo system control enable php fpm. Let's test to make sure PHP is working on the system. Create a PHP info file with the command sudo nano slash var slash www slash html slash info dot php. In that file, paste the following contents less than question mark php php info parentheses parentheses semicolon question mark greater than save and close the file restart the apache server with the command sudo system control restart httpd open a web browser and point it to http colon slash slash server slash info dot php where server is the ip address or domain name of the hosting server you should see the php information page detailing what PHP modules are enabled. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.